Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial. Today's painting is inspired by this beautiful autumn landscape. I'm using a watercolor sketchbook from Hanemule. It's 100% cotton. To start with, I use my mechanical pencil to just mark the ground, so where the ground will be. Then using the masking fluid, I'm painting the trees so i want these trees to be same white as the paper and masking fluid helps preserving these areas and for the brush i'm using a small craft brush nothing exclusive or expensive since the masking fluid can be pretty harsh on the bristles Now I leave it for like 15 to 20 minutes till it's completely dry then start painting. To paint the ground I first use a clean wet brush to wet the surface where the ground is going to be and then apply some grass green, sap green and yellow. After the ground has dried, I repeat the same process using the clean wet brush to wet the surface and add the paint again. I ended up having a bit too much water on the surface and to get rid of that I slightly dry the brush and lift up the excess paint and clean it off with a paper towel. Then we let this whole layer dry before continuing painting. And honestly at this point I wasn't very sure where I was going with this painting. I just knew that I didn't want it to be a realistic one so I decided to go over it with some abstract shapes to achieve this more illustrative or stylized painting style At this point, I felt like the painting was lacking some contrast and was a bit flat. So to fight that, I'm adding some darker trees or branches. I let the painting 
dry completely and then go over with my eraser to remove the masking fluid. This process can be a bit messy, so that's the downside of using masking fluid in my opinion, but I really like the preserved paper white areas. Now it's time to paint the second one. I'm going to use the same technique but this time, instead of using masking fluid for preserving the white areas, I'm going to use white gouache, which is an opaque medium, also known as opaque watercolor, to paint the white trees. Here I decided to add some splatter paint to create this sense of chaos and movement of leaves falling a windy autumn day.
and filling these trees with some abstract leaf shapes just using the shape of a round brush to add some details. Now it's time to paint the branches with white gouache. Just make sure that the painting is completely dried before painting with the gouache layer. And it's always good to add a bit of water to the gouache, mix it well to get this smooth consistency. To finish up the painting, I decided to add some happy people walking in the park. 
And that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Happy painting and see you in the next one.